Well, after just one season in the top flight, Charlton are desperately keen to hang on to their status. That eagerness reflected in the fact that Monday's defeat at Leeds was their first in seven matches. Well, here is the Charlton lineup. Bob Boulder is in goal, as always. The back four featuring Peter Shirtliffe, the former Sheffield Wednesday centre half, and of course, Paul Miller signed from Tottenham Hotspur this season. In the midfield, then. Charlton Athletic have three men. Colin Walsh on the left, the former Nottingham Forest player, has been outstanding in both games so far. And up front, three men there, including Garth Crooks, of course, signed from West Bromwich Albion earlier this year, and Jim Melrose, who, as Roger said, got the goal at Selhurst Park in the first one. Now, John Sheridan has struck one free kick from this sort of distance tonight. When he just cleared the crossbar... Leeds must be praying he gets it just under the crossbar. Bobby McDonald trying to find a place in the wall. <laughs> what about him, says Garth Crooks, he's not one of us. Sheridan's got 15 goals this season, a lot of them from free kicks. Can he make it 16? <laughs> John Sheridan's done it! The Leeds fans are going wild. Boulder disconsolate on his knees. Aspen's face says it all. They sense that the first division could be beckoning for Leeds. He's never scored a more important goal in his career. John Sheridan, who scored at St Andrews earlier this season in a league game for Leeds, and has just signed a new contract to play with them next season. Let's hope he's going to be playing it in the first division. Here it is. He seems to point the way. Well, it flew into the net. It was perfect. But Leeds have to defend now. They know as well as anyone how teams can be caught cold after they've just scored. Leeds themselves through Edwards got back at Oldham within a minute. But... At on 99 minutes, John Sheridan has got the goal, which gives Leeds the encouragement to get their fans singing. What it does mean is that Leeds have to soak up a bit more pressure. Humphrey. Well, it uh, wasn't the best free kick for Charlton in the circumstances, though he has found Miller. It's a better looking cross. It's away by Adams, only as far as Grit, and it's still in that penalty area. Stewart. Oh, it's a goal for Charlton Athletic! And it's Peter Shirtley. It's all square again. The former Sheffield Wednesday man, Shirtley, has given Charlton a lifeline and sent those supporters into ecstasy. Would you believe it? Nobody will lie down in this tie. He's only got three goals before this one. Grit didn't strike it and it paid off really. Stewart managed to wriggle the situation, turning it back. Shirtliff struck it sweetly. Day could do nothing about it. And here we go again at one all. 112 minutes of this one gone. In addition to the 180 before. And what's this? An amazing effort from Sheridan from the goal kick from the, from the uh, kickoff. Can you believe it? Well, Leeds must be absolutely crestfallen. Stewart did well. Shirtliff, of course, did even better. And that's given Charlton a lift, no doubt about that. And Leeds must be sick. They've got it all to do again now. They saw victory snatched away from them by Coventry in the Cup semi-final at Hillsborough. And now we're six minutes away from the most dramatic finish there could ever have been to a league season. They always reckon it's better to come from behind in these situations. Charlton have got the lift now. Leeds must be feeling it might just slip away. But uh, really, there's been nothing much predictable here. Lee bundled off it by Sheridan. Free kick for Charlton. Apart from one flash point, I would say the players have done very well tonight to restrain themselves. But now Mervyn Day there 
getting that wall just where he wants it. It's got to be inch perfect, as we saw when Sheridan beat Boulder. Walsh runs over it. It's now left for Peak. Oh, it's a good one! Oh, it's the goal! Which might well have preserved first division football for Charlton Athletic. And it's Peter Shirtliff again. The Charlton supporters delirious. And it's a Sheffield man who's probably kept Leeds in Division 2 for next season. What a dream story for Peter Shirtliff. He doesn't get many goals, but he's got two in the space of a few moments, which have turned the match on its head. When Leeds looked to be on their way to the first division, Shirtliff equalised, and now he's headed them surely into the first division again next season. We can see it once more. I'm sure nobody in Leeds wants to see it. It was well rehearsed. Peak chipped it in. Hazelwood didn't go for it. Shirtlift did, and he beat Ashurst. Oh, and the ball's in the net. Well, it's a cruel, cruel way for a season to end for Leeds United. Lenny Lawrence said that Charlton would fight to the death to hold on to the first division status they only won last season. And you've got to give them total credit a lot of teams would have laid down and died going a goal down in extra time the referee i think has got the whistle ready to blow that is the most astonishing way in which a football league season has ever ended. and the referee raises his arm charlton have won it leeds can't believe it you'll gather that they're charlton fans on the opposite side away from me and Leeds supporters are applauding it's been the most dramatic climax that one could ever imagine. The Football League season ends in total ecstasy for Charlton Athletic and entire dejection for Leeds United. And Peter Shirtliff, that's John Humphrey with Paul Miller. They know that they'll be playing on the big grounds again next season. tragic way for them to end the season after losing out in the FA Cup as well. Billy Brenton, nice to see there, shaking the hand of John Humphrey. The Leeds players, one or two of them are still out there on the pitch. I'm sure that some of them cannot believe the result. Charlton seem dead and buried, but now they know they're in the first division again next season. Two for you to goals have guaranteed that. The final score here at St Andrews is Charlton Athletic two Leeds United one Peter that was the most remarkable extra time has it really sunk in yet not really I think it will tomorrow you know um, I'm just pleased for the boys we've battled well all season I thought you know for 42 league games we deserve to stay up obviously this is Royal the Rovers finish you know but that marvelous free kick went in from Leeds United I mean the temptation surely is for the for the lads heads to go down <laughs> yes I thought that's where we showed a lot of character we've got to keep playing and uh, keep doing the things what we're doing and getting a bit of success from we aren't really getting any clear-cut chances and i thought you know if we could just keep plugging away we could create a couple of chances unfortunately they just seemed to both fall to me <laughs> when was the last time you got two goals <clears throat> no, i've never scored two goals in my career that's the first time it's not a bad signing by all absolutely not no <laughs> i mean it's a rich irony i mean you're a yorkshire lad yourself and you've resigned a yorkshire team to the second division that's right well you know, I mean, I feel a little bit for Leeds. I feel feel a little bit sorry for such as John Pearson, because I, I like the boy. But uh, I'm a professional. I've got to play for Charlton, I'm afraid. There is a fantastic atmosphere, I suspect, in your changing room right now. Yeah, a lot of relief more than anything, Roger. You know, we're really pleased. Just delighted to get, stay in the first division. Congratulations. Thank you very much.